Hi everyone, it's Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master, and today we're going to begin weaving the walls of our mini muffin basket. So let's begin. Lower the camera where you can see. Now, I have upset my stakes and I have close pinned the corners. See how I do that? I just, I close pin just the two and that holds the corners upright and in place for me. We're going to begin with weaving 3 8 inch flat. And I always start, turn this around, hopefully you can see this a little better. I always start on the outside of a stake. Now, take a look at this stake here. It goes over this stake goes over so this time I'm going to have it go under this stake is going to go under this piece of weaving always start your weaving on the outside of the stake and remember those clothes pins are your extra hands be generous with them for the first few rows that will really help your basket take proper shape. Get it nice around those corners. You have to unpin the close pins as you go around a corner and then I reclose pin the corner back up and I do this for the first couple of rows. And we're just doing our basic over under over under weaving and I'm keeping that that uh, row of weaving nice and close to my base so it's nice and tight. We don't have big gaps showing. And we continue on around here. So on a basket this size, I've got about eight clothespins going at this time to really help me with the shape of my basket. It's just going to make my basket look look nicer if I if I use those clothespins. All right, here's where I remember, here's where I started. I go over where I started. We're going to hide the end. Go to the next stake over. Cut it about 2 thirds of the way across and tuck that in place. And then remember, we turn our basket a quarter of a turn. This gives it extra strength and it helps to keep the bulk from being all in one spot. And we start our next row of weaving. Again, remember to start on the outside of the stake. Since this first row of weaving went under this stake, our second row of weaving will go over the stake. So again, we're continuing with our over under weaving and it's just the opposite of our previous row. I've got to stop a minute. One thing to be careful about is remember to keep the smooth side to the outside. And I had the rough side to the outside of my basket, so I wanted to start that row over again because I want a really pretty basket when I'm finished, and I don't want the rough side of the reed to the outside of the basket. I want the rough side of the reed to the inside of the basket where it won't be as noticeable. So again, keep this row of weaving good and tight against the previous row of weaving. Coming around after your first couple of rows, you can cut back a little bit on the number of clothespins that you use. Cut back slowly. Don't just give them up completely all at once. I 
keep it keep it good and packed down. Don't let there be a lot of gaps showing. And again here, we're back back to where we started. So we're going over this piece, going to the next stake, cut it about two thirds of the way across, and tuck it under. So you see here, it's the first row of weaving. Here's the second row as I continue up my basket. It's just opposite, over, under, over, under, but it's just opposite the previous row of weaving. We're going to continue weaving this up for about two and a half inches. You can weave it in whatever design you like. If you want to start using some different sizes of reed, like quarter inch or 11 64ths, um, go ahead. That's fine. This is your basket. Go ahead and do that. When I get up to about two inches on uh, my basket, to about a height of two inches, I will return and we'll continue with the next step. So visit my blog, www.basketmasterweavings.blogspot.com, and I'll see you back soon. Take care. Bye-bye.